Today on the MX270 we're putting steering cylinder pins and bushings in and man are my old ones stuck. So I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how to get yours apart because mine the cutting torch, heat, all that, and I finally ended up using a cutoff disc. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I mean. So here's where the steering cylinder pin goes through. Of course the bushing goes down inside the steering cylinder here. And if you look down here on the bottom, a little bit of that pin protrudes. And I saw that pin protruding down there, so I got my tall jack right there. And I got it wedged in there real nice and started pushing on that pin. And you know, I just lifted the tire on this side off the ground. I thought, oh, well I need more need more weight. So I let it down and I threw reds in there and I jacked it back up on that pin. And then the tire on the other side came off the ground along with the tire on this side. So that's when I knew this was probably going to be a fight. I got in here and I started heating this up and I don't like heating this expensive axle housing because if you know anything about metallurgy and if you heat something like this red hot and say you just heat a spot right here red hot when it cools off you may have created a stress point right here where it heated red hot where the part that got red hot and the part that didn't meet and you might end up having something break in the future so I didn't like doing that and after a whole bunch of tapping and hammering and mind you I had the whole weight of the front end of the tractor on that pin nothing would give nothing would give it just it was stuck so I got the old death wheel out and I got in here real careful like like so and I cut the head of that pin off and then the steering cylinder hung down far enough I could get between the axle housing and the steering cylinder and I cut it off again and then I got that long jack and I put it under the steering cylinder and jacked this part of the steering cylinder right here up against this part of the axle housing and then I was able to get down here on the bottom and cut it in between the axle housing and the steering cylinder so now what that has done is left me with two two stubby pieces still stuck in the axle housing I started moving this top one the bottom one's still stuck down in there but anyway I think we can get on there now with the air hammer and just knock that right on through Let's give it a try. Well, there we go. And I'll do that to the bottom one. and That's how you get your stuck steering, steering cylinder pins out of your MX Magnum. This is what I meant by I used the long jack to get on that pin and put pressure on it. And if you wedge wood in there so the axle won't pivot you can actually get that wedged in there good enough to lift both tires of the tractor off the ground but this side's just as stuck so uh like i said zip with the cutoff disc zip with the cutoff disc right in there and then you take this jack and you stick it under the steering cylinder here and you push it up until this goes up and touches and you have a gap like that down here and then you can cut the bottom off that's the only way I've come up with to get this apart because believe me I've tried just about everything else and one more thing to be aware of this is the pin and that's where it needs to go so you have to pull your you have to pull this out and then jack that side up over there and then let this side down and then this pin still doesn't fit I ended up cutting the very bottom of mine off so instead of having a slight protrusion like this one you can see that probably not anyway instead of having a slight protrusion my pins just now flush with the bottom of this housing so but it's together and the steering cylinders are going to be nice and tight now so that's how you get it done just wanted to show you a little more about these stuck steering cylinder pins. This is the bushing that goes in the steering 
cylinder and uh, I thought the new ones were plastic and the first one I did there was no bushing left to speak of but this one had a little bit of bushing left and I think it might be fiberglass it came out of there fiberly like but anyway that's the new bushing ready to go in and hang on a second and I'll show you the tractor and the pin so this is the setup to get that steering cylinder pin in. Because there's not room between the pin and the frame with both tires on, you gotta put a jack under this side. And I got the tire on there just so if it falls, it doesn't fall as far, you know, safety and stuff. And then I got this tall jack over here on the frame that holds the wheel or the weights for ballast to hold it up off the ground. Cause you know, the farther down that gets, the harder it is to work on. So we've got the axle super tipped. As a matter of fact, I had to pull the I had to pull the stopper out of this side just to get a little more room and I don't want to go all the way till that axle touches the frame because who knows what might break. That stopper's in there for a reason. But even if we did, we still wouldn't get quite all the way there. This uh, this pin still just barely doesn't have enough room to drop in there so i'll just cut the tip of this pin off a little and then instead of having a protrusion down here here let me get the light so if we cut that pin off instead of having a slight protrusion down here we'll just have it flush which is still plenty supportive and also give me a second to get some anti-season lube and cut that pin off and I'll show you how well, I got to get the stubs out of here yet but I'll show you how tight that fit, pin fits and why anti-seize is important okay I've got those holes cleaned up and they're essentially dry I haven't put any anti-seize or lube or anything on them got the pin all cleaned up I just barely cut the tip off but I'll show you how tight these fit when they're new so this was 100% stuck because it went together dry. Nobody put any anti-seize or any sort of lube on this. So make sure to anti-seize this and this and the pin. And you can't use too much. I mean you can, but it won't matter. It's, it's much better than having to do what we just done to take this tractor apart. So there we go. That's what to do with your stuck steering cylinder pins on MX Magnum.